This video, I'm going to be showing you kind of a man-to-man -man type of base defense that's going to be really effective for defending any kind of gun bunch or really any kind of three-by-one formation because we're going to use some matching principles as well as some just basic good coverage principles that are super effective every single year. So this is going to come out of our Dollar Three Two. We actually have this full defensive ebook in our school.com community page. If you guys want to get access to that school.com website, that is going to be linked down in the description below. For just ten dollars, you'll be able to get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, both for Madden and for College Football Twenty Five. If you want to get access to that, that link is going to be down in the description. So what I like to do with this defense is, is we're going to be utilizing the spinner defense, and I think it's the best blitzing defense in Madden because you're able to combine both the A-gap pressure as well as the uh, edge pressures from both DB Fire 2 and Free Safety Zone Blitz, but you're able to do it from a man-to-man -man look, which I think is going to make it a little bit better, uh, just a little bit more aggressive. So the setup for this defense is we are just going to press our coverage. We're going to put the uh, solo, we're going to pinch our defensive line. And then from there, we have two blitzes that we're going to show you today that I think are really good. The first one is going to be this five-man A-gap blitz that we've seen a lot this year. And the way we're going to run this is we're going to middle th or uh, outside third, the solo wide receiver side outside corner. We're going to shade, or I'm sorry, we're going to put this safety into a hook curl. We're going to then create a cover three over here um, on the bunch side by outside thirding, and then we're going to have essentially a shade underneath. This is, in my opinion, one of the best ways to blitz in this game, one of the best coverage coverages to blitz from in this game because a lot of people, they run verticals. They run verticals, they run double posts, or run double corner. This is going to do a really good job against that, and as you see, you're going to get super, super quick pressure to be able to put the pressure on your opponent. So again, the setup for this is we're going to press, we're going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to middle third or outside third, the corner on the left. We're going to hook curl the safety on the left. We're going to middle third the corner or the safety on the right. We're going to outside third the corner on the right. And we're going to hard flat over here on the right side. And then I like to shade underneath. This also does, like I said, a really good job for defending any kind of like flood concept to the bunch side because a lot of times that guy on the back side is going to be on this drag and you'll see that this hook curl is going to knock that out consistently, especially if you put a mid zone KO right there. Now, the next defense we're going to be showcasing is a little bit more of kind of like the DB fire approach from the same exact look. What we're going to do is we're going to press, we're going to pinch our defensive line. And then instead of sending that linebacker now, what we're going to do is we are going to actually create a rolled coverage and we're going to use this to slow down the flat zones on left. So what we're going to do is we are going to cloud flat the solo wide receiver side corner. We are going to deep half the solo wide receiver side safety. And then on the right hand side here, a couple different options for you. What I like to do the most is to essentially play kind of a cover two to the both sides and then just man up the tight end. I think this is a really underrated adjustment sequence. And oftentimes what you'll see from this is you're gonna get pretty good pressure and you're gonna force them to have to block a running back. Again, all these blitzes, they can be picked up by blocking running back. But one of the things that's really important to mention about the A-gap blitz is the way most people are going to block the running back is going to be with this setup here that I just showed you. And what you'll see from this blocked running back against this uh, five-man blitz out of spinner when we send the edge pressures, you're going to see here that oftentimes you're still going to be able to get pressure off of one, if not both, of your slot corners. So the slot corner pressure really complements the A-gap pressure, and this is why this is one of the best ways to blitz in the entire game. Let me show you that one more time. We'll just create a basic cover two shell in behind it, and I'll do kind of the meta pass protection system, which is to slide right and ID right, and oftentimes you're still going to be able to scream off of the edge or get a quick disengage up the A-gap. So not only do you have those methods to be able to send significant pressure, but they're two completely different coverage defenses if you think about it. And the way you beat them is going to be different as well. So as you can see right here, through the utilization of these cloud flats on the outside, along with the cross man of the tight end, this is going to do a really good job against the play verticals. And the main thing you're going to do from a user perspective is you're just going to take the crosser across the formation. And other than that, pretty much everything is going to be bagged on that bunch side. Going between these two blitzes is going to be really effective for uh, ensuring that you're going to not only 
consistently be able to disguise your opponent, but you're also going to be able to create different coverages for different situations. One last coverage that I really like to, to utilize um, on this is essentially a cover two with the hook curl. We're gonna shade that coverage underneath. And then on that right hand side, we are gonna make it a priority with our user to go back and go deep with any kind of deep corner route over on that side. And there you see a little disengage. And that's what I'm talking about, the disengages that you can get from this pass rush and from this blitz. I wanna thank you for watching this video. This is by no means an exhaustive list of setups that you can use for bunch. I have other videos on that and I have all that stuff broken down in my offensive and defensive eBooks on our school.com community page. If you wanna get those full eBooks, head down to the description and click the link below.